Hey guys, welcome back. Super excited today. I finally received the uh, full self-driving update, um, which also came with a full heads-up display update as well. So I'm going to show you what that looks like, and then um, we'll take a trip up to the store using full self-driving, and we'll evaluate how it works. So here's how the vision updates um, look on the screen. Um, you can see they're almost using something like an Unreal Engine. It's um, a lot better graphics. They've got a shadow on the bottom. You can still access your controls to open the trunk or the charge port. And if you click up here in the top right corner, you'll have access to your map, which you can kind of slide over to get um, portion, you know, half screen or full screen. Still got your music on the bottom and your quick navigation button, as well as like the full um, task bar at the very bottom. Looks really good. Now, if you put this car into drive, you'll see it immediately moves the map over to the right. Still got this down here and um, puts everything to the left. And when you drive, uh, a couple little updates. You do see that the, the speed is a little bit bigger. It went back to the bigger size there. And then um, as you drive, you know, you've got a little bit more of the full self-driving capabilities, which you can stretch out and have kind of as a full screen if you want now. Um, and you'll see, you know, much more interaction with things like stop signs, um, etc. So I'm going to put in a place that we want to go. Let's go to the, um, I don't know, the dollar store, Dollar Tree. And we'll just say, um, so to start this, you're going to push down on the stock and it's going to start driving. It put the uh, blinker on by itself which is pretty cool. And now you'll see the, the wheel start to turn on its own. You'll still want to hold on to the wheel here because Tesla has built in five strikes, so to speak. So if you are not um, paying attention or um, you're not holding on to the wheel often enough, it will accrue a strike against you. And once it reaches five, it will um, essentially shut down the system. So we're coming up to this turn here, stop sign. Um, there's a car directly across from me. Now she, oh, she's waving me to go ahead. So I just tapped the brake, went ahead and went, and you can see autopilot was disengaged. There's an option here to send some feedback as to what happened, um, but I'm not gonna do that. I'll just reactivate it by pushing on the stock again and we're, we're off and running. Now I just took my eyes off the road. I'm not sure if you could hear that alert, but here you can see it says, please pay attention. So the camera even kind of senses if you're looking in a different direction than, than where you should be. I've also noticed that um, the sensors are picking up a lot more. So I, it, it obviously sees trucks and cars, um, pedestrians, it's seeing quite a bit anytime you drive by one. Uh, I've seen a dog. I actually even saw uh, as I approached a car, they had their door open and it actually has the door open on the vehicle as well, which is pretty impressive. Um, as well as brake lights, you'll, you'll see when we come up to a car that's braking in front of us, um, the brakes will actually uh, trigger on the display. Now you can set the max here by using the toggle. Okay, so we're at a green light, just turned yellow. The car is trying to figure out what to do here. We've got oncoming traffic. We're inching up a little bit. And also, if you look at the display here, you can see it's doing a pretty good job of figuring out there goes a motorcycle. And so now we're getting to the clearing spot, still not fully. And it's going to go. Nope, it's not going to go. And it's accelerating pretty hard. Now it needs to get over to the left. So far, this is pretty impressive. It is definitely a step up from version 11. Um, and uh, yeah, it does make you, it's a, good, it's a good sales tactic to offer this as a truck. Well, this should be interesting. There's lots of cars up here. And hopefully we've got to make a left here. Hopefully we get a car facing directly at us in the center lane. That's where the Waymo car ride that I took kind of broke down. It wasn't able to figure out who should go first. Let's see if this car will pull in here. Yep. 
Handle that pretty good. So it stops pretty short of the stop sign. There's no cars around and it's taking its sweet time to figure out where to turn and now it's going to make the turn. So it's times like that where you really want to be able to take over and hit the gas. So I am just pushing the gas a little bit here. Okay, so we've reached the destination. I'm going to hit end trip. And, and overall, that was pretty fun. Um, it is, I just wonder how much I'd use it. If we look at the upgrades, uh, it's $99 a month for full self-driving capability at the time of this video. Um, what does it give? It gives you navigate on autopilot like we did. It does give you the auto lane change, auto park, which we haven't tried. I wish we had summon and smart summon to try out as well. Um, and it does have auto steer on city streets and then the traffic light and stop sign control.